unbelievable. Seriously? A, A proboscis, proboscis monkey! monkey! Well, we found who was making that sound. Mystery solved. Told you it was a monkey. Way to go, Jay-Z. But that nose. Didn't know he'd have a giant nose. <laughs> he must have a serious cold. I never knew a monkey like that even existed. He doesn't have a cold, Jimmy. Proboscis monkeys have the biggest nose of any monkey. It doesn't seem real, but it is. Wish I had a nose like that. It's cool. That's what I'll call ya, schnozzle. After that cool nose. The question is, what is that nose all about? Why in the world would a monkey need a nose like that? <laughs> One thing's for sure, that nose doesn't slow you down. Follow that monkey's nose. Woohoo! You proboscis monkeys are good in the trees. Looks like there are eight monkeys in this troop, and Schnozzle's the only adult male. Everybody else is a female or kid monkey. What? Like this nosy young guy. Hey, wait up, nosy. Not so fast, Schnozzle. Woohoo! Woohoo! Catch that moose nozzle? That oh. hurts! Uh. Oh. <gasps> Martin? Chris? <laughs> Find this pretty funny, do you, Schnozzle? <laughs> I think it's a pretty good look for you guys. <laughs> and thanks for figuring out that the mystery discs are the proboscis monkey. Oh, hello. We're just wondering what these noses are for. Uh, hi there. <laughs> hi. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Suddenly we're pretty popular around here. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Guys, I think you figured out one thing those noses are for. We did? Yeah, the girl monkeys like them. <gasps> You're right. In nature, lots of animals have certain features that show off they're healthy and strong. Like male moose and deer. They have big antlers to show females that they're survivors. For proboscis monkeys, it's all about the nose. The bigger and droopier the nose, the better. Uh-oh. Oh. His feet seem to be as strong as his hands. Uh. Interesting observation, Chris. I think I'm gonna name him the big, strong orange guy who won't let us get back to the Tortuga. <laughs> Might be a little long. You think? Whoa! Uh, we already believe orangutans are really strong. You really don't have to show us again. Whoa! Talk about being thrown off course. He threw us back here again? Huh. Yeah, now that's funny luck. A real coincidence. Hmm. Or did he do it on purpose? Oh, whoa! Even as babies, they're strong. It's so wild that a baby orangutan is strong enough to grab and hang when he is just six hours old. When he's around a year old, he's as strong as a grown-up human. His arms must be sore from all that swinging. Yeah, orangutans spend 90% of their time climbing and swinging. And with all that climbing, even orangutans get sore muscles. Bros, come in. We're here. We just discovered that orangutans get sore muscles from swinging and climbing, just like we do. Yeah, baby orangutan learns that when he's really young. Okay, we get it, we get it. We're sore and stiff and can't do anything. I can't even work on orangutan powers. Oh, please hurry back with some medicine. Don't worry, we're on our way. Yeah, but if we stay, we're gonna have to work together to get by that huge orangutan. 
Huge O. Huge O? Huge O. Huge orangutan. Huge O. Huge O. Ha, sounds good. Initiate operation. Slip past Huge O. Cover me, dude. Got your back, bro. Clear. 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 Unclear. Whoa. Oh, no. Bro, Chris. Where'd you go? Oh, hi, Hujo. Uh, those cheek flaps of yours are very impressive. Huh? Ah! Ah! Wait, let me guess. We're back with the orangutan mom and baby. How'd you know? Because Hujo keeps heaving us back here for a reason. <laughs> no way, it's just a coincidence. Okay, googly eye, I'm ready to learn tree leaping from the master. Whoa, the spring in your legs is unbelievable. It's the long legs, isn't it? They're longer than your body. Okay, let's do this, googly eye. So you use those frog-like legs to leap off the branch like this. Yeah. I did it. I love this vertical clinging and leaping. I'm ready for more. Farther. Yeah. Farther. Yeah. Farther! Yeah! Uh oh! Well, human legs definitely can't leap as far as a Tarzir leg! Uh oh, gotta break his fall. Chris, Vine coming at ya! Oh, yes! Oh, thanks, bro! That was gonna. Oh. Hurt. Oh. I'm good with the leaping for now. What's the next Tarzir tradition? Well, it looks like they're getting ready for something really important. Everyone is leaving Home Tree, even Googly Jr. We're right behind you, Googly Eye. No sign of the Krat Brothers yet. Those rods inside the goggles won't last forever. Hmm? What rods? See, when the light goes through the pupil, it reaches sensors called rods, which are at the back of the eyeball. You mean like those orange things? Yeah. Those are the rod sensors for my mechanical eye, and they work the same way as a real eyeball. When the light hits them, the eye sees what it's looking at. The rods are great at seeing in low light, and Tarsier eyes are loaded with millions of them, which is why they have the best night vision of any primate. Hey, guys, you need some more light in there? <laughs> it's eating me again. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, eyeball. And I've got my eye on that clock. Those rod sensors I put into the night vision goggles will probably only last another 10 minutes. Then what? Then it's lights out for Martin and Chris. Where are we? No idea. But look, they're parking Googly Jr. That's it. The Tarsiers must be getting ready to search for food. Definitely. Lots of animals leave their babies hidden away somewhere safe, like in a tree hole, while they go off to eat. So it's breakfast time for the Tarsiers, in the middle of the night. Oh yeah, just in time for my midnight snack. What's for breakfast? Berries, nuts, what is it? You see something over there? Oh, a Katie did. Insects! Oh, of course. No berries or nuts for you. You guys eat insects, lizards, and even birds. That's why you're the most predatory primate in the world. You're a great climber, bro. But when compared to spider monkeys, not so much. They're just super climbers, aren't they? Yeah, and there's no way we can keep up with spider monkeys. But we could have found, oh, about 100 cool insects by now. If we were doing a bug-sized adventure. Huh? What? Horses in the trees? So now horses can climb better than me, too? Not horses, Chris. Those are spider monkeys. And if I remember my spider monkey language lessons, that means they found a fruit tree. Uh, 
<laughs> My turn, finally. Okay, so there's a father and two teenage monkeys, but no sign of a mother. Okay, now this isn't fair. You make me come on a swing with the spider monkey adventure, and now I can't even look. But I don't even see a mother or a baby. Here, let me see. I'll find a baby spider monkey. Yeah. Come on, bro, gimme. Yeah. Martin, you're more annoying than a mosquito. Yeah. Uh, Chris, I think I found them. Knock it off, Martin. I'm not giving you the binoculars. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, help! I'm being monkey napped! Uh-oh. Aviva, come in. Martin's been monkey napped and taken into the realm of the spider monkeys where humans can't climb. Monkey napped? I've heard of cat napped, kidnapped, but never monkey napped. How can a human get kidnapped by a monkey? Martin is bug sized, remember? Uh oh, let's go. Chris, why don't you just climb after them? I might be able to get up there, but those spider monkeys can move through the treetops like the ultimate acrobats. I can't keep up with them. How about buzz bites? Oh, yeah! Well, this is one way to keep up with the spider monkeys. It's amazing how these monkeys can brachiate, just swinging arm over arm. Arm swinging is as easy for them as walking is for us. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> uh, hello to you, too. Wow, are you cute. How old are you, anyway? Hmm, only five months old. Tell them from how you're starting to arm swing around on your own. <laughs> yep, I thought so. Whoa, whoa. Uh, I think you spider monkeys might possibly be the best climbers we've ever encountered. Don't worry, Shadow. We're coming for you. Hey, Grabsy! Of course! Spider monkey powers! Guys, think fast! Activate creature powers! After those Zackbots! Swing into the creature rescue! We're gaining on him. Which one has shadow? There. <gasps> uh, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> uh, gotcha. Hang in there, Shadow! I'll get you! Whoa. Hang in there, Shadow, just like Martin said, except this time, I'll get you! <gasps> ah. Hey, bro. Hey. Ah. 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 Oh, no! Deploy emergency crash pad. And these guys are totally different. They eat fruit. It's high in energy, so these guys can move. And look, another creature link. They're both dependent on these trees for food. They just eat different parts. Hey, Chris, it's Grabsy. Hey, Grabsy. You know that spider monkey hairstyle you gave me last time? Could you do that again? Wait, you're not done. Hey, Grabsy, wait for me. While Martin's getting his hair done, there's one more creature in here I'd like to see. Amazing. So many different creatures packed into the rainforest. Sloths and monkeys eating from the same tree. Creatures living on other creatures. It really is all linked together. 
No wonder rainforests have more animals than any other land habitat on Earth. Yeah, rainforests only take up this little bit of the planet, but they have more than half the animals and plants on Earth. Now that's an important habitat. Yeah, especially because my soul twin, Chillax, lives there. <sighs> Grabsy! Grabsy! Grabsy? Hmm, nothing. Yeah. There! Crap, brothers! Here? Now? Every time I come up with a new recipe for rare endangered animals, they try to mess it up! Like flies in my soup! Well, not this time. I'll just secretly use them to help me find all the ingredients on my shopping list. Ah, rainforest stew. My greatest recipe so far. Ow, ow, ow. Looks like a bathroom break. See, the monkey droppings are full of seeds from that Inga tree the monkeys were eating it with the sloth. And so you monkeys are actually helping spread the seeds of the same trees that you eat from. <laughs> now new Inga trees can grow here in a different part of the forest. <laughs> That's one ingredient captured. <laughs> you rainforest creatures do really depend on each other, don't you? Hey, spider monkeys, Grabsy, where'd everybody go? Was it something I said? Hmm. I guess when they move, they move. Martin, come quick. Something weird's happening here. On my way. I've got an idea! Spider monkey powers will do the trick! We can arm swing after Spaceship and reach out and touch him with the long reach of those spider monkey arms and fingers. He can't get away from that reach. <laughs> What's up, Grabsy? <laughs> hey, good to see you too, buddy. <laughs> How about a little activation for our spider monkey power suits? Activate creature powers! After that, the hummingbird! I'll head him off at the pass. I'm on his tail. Woo! Ah! 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 